month on images. Check up on students pursuing careers in dental hygiene. Culinary students prepare a winning menu for competition. And job seekers explore opportunities with COD's career services. All of that and more on this edition of Images. Hi, I'm Rio Almaria, Admissions Representative at College of DuPage. Welcome to Images, the show that keeps you up to date with everything happening here at COD. Dental hygienists do more than just clean teeth. They serve an important role in patients' overall health. The Dental Hygiene Program at College of DuPage prepares its graduates to provide comprehensive oral health care services in a variety of settings. A dental hygienist takes care of patients, not only from a dental perspective, from a general oral health perspective. Oftentimes I think it's mistaken that we just clean teeth, we're just clinicians, but actually we're basically educators and health promoters. In addition to that, we also take care of people's um, overall health, because oftentimes we see diseases that could occur throughout the body show up in the mouth first. Things like diabetes, Hormonal diseases can also show up in the mouth first. Changes in the color of the tissue can alert us to um, fairly serious diseases. So we'd want to alert the, the patient and the dentist to um, what we find. So we just aren't your typical um, clean the teeth for just to make pretty smiles. Although that's one nice advantage of being a dental hygienist. But in addition, we're concerned about the person's overall health. What brought me to College of DuPage is their reputation for the dental hygiene program. They have an excellent pass rate for the state board exams. They totally prepare the students um, what, for what to expect out there, and that's something I wanted to be a part of. I had quite a few choices in selecting dental hygiene programs and actually dental schools. Once I chose to become a dental hygienist, COD was my top choice because of the pass rates in our, our boards and the facility itself is, you, you just can't beat. I think our facilities are state of the art. It's just like any dental office, well modern dental office. We have digital technology, we have our intra oil cameras, all of our equipment is top notch. My favorite part is actually being in clinic. We're seeing real patients with real issues, real pathologies, and we're actually treating them before we're even getting into the real world. So I think that's awesome. The dental hygiene students are provided with an array of patients. A lot of our patient population are people that do not have dental insurance. So I think the college helps the community in general by giving patients a place to be seen. In addition, it gives students great experiences on things that they might not see in the typical dental office practice. I feel like the faculty here are amazing in the fact that each faculty member has experiences that have really taught me all along in my interactions with each of them in our classes and in clinic especially. A lot of the things that I'm learning now, I had no idea I had to know as a dental hygienist. We have to know almost everything a dentist has to know. I did not realize I would have to be a nutritionist. I didn't realize I'd be, you know, reading into detail as far as with the x-rays, radiographs, and things of that nature. It's really in-depth. It's very rewarding for me because it's helping me to become a better hygienist. I think our students are very well prepared. In fact, from the information we've gotten from employer surveys, from students that have graduated and have gone in, out into the community to work, they've all been very favorable.
The kitchens in the Culinary and Hospitality Center were boiling with excitement when College of DuPage recently hosted the American Culinary Federation's Student Team Hot Food Illinois State Competition. Teams were judged on kitchen skills and preparation of a four-course meal. With the winners advancing to the regional level, the College of DuPage team hoped to savor the taste of victory. It has been a huge thing for me to be a part of this competition. It's really brought me more involved with the school as well as to become better as a cook and a chef. It's not going to be just a resume builder for me um, because I know that my participation in the competition would greatly um, improve my skills, not only in you know, cooking food, but also being part of a team. If we win this competition, as a team, we get to move on to regionals, which would be a huge deal since it would be the first time for COD to move on to regionals. And I think it would just help our group um, become closer and work that much harder for the next step. I really want to win this competition. I really want to win this competition. This is the third year of our culinary team and the students were selected um, based upon their academic performance and truly their passion and excitement for the industry. What makes this team different from the teams in the past, I feel, has been just a little bit of the camaraderie and their comfort level with each other. This team seems to you know, stay a little bit extra later to make sure all the little details are organized. They're set up for the next practice. So their drive and their passion to, to want to win and be successful um, really shows in, in their accomplishments this year. Everyone's a little nervous, a little tense, but as we get going and get into our groove and start pushing through, I think we're gonna get more relaxed and just make it great. It gives the students an opportunity to, to really learn and to really jump into the, the menu concept and the development of menus because they're given a guideline of taking a starter course and the main entree course, which is designed by the ACF, and then they develop a salad course and a dessert to go with it. There's a set of criteria. From the skills, we're looking at exactness, execution of exactness, how you break down a chicken, how they break down their type of fish that they choose to use for their starter course, as well as their knife skills and their pastry skills. And from there, same concept for hot food. They're given an hour and 15 minutes to prepare these four courses from scratch, and then manufacture four portions of each course in an hour and 15 minutes, and they have a 15 minute window from which to plate these up and serve them. I've learned not only my cooking skills, not only my knife skills, also my communication skills. Again, being on a team, you need to communicate in order for your team to succeed. I've probably learned more being part of this team than maybe some of my classes because it has really pushed us and taught us to work together as a team, as people in the kitchen together, and it's also really honed in on having to use our knife skills and cooking skills to try and make the perfect dish. I thought we did very well. Our plates look great. They're seasoned very well. Everything was cooked properly. Um, so I felt good, but also knowing our two competitors who are also two very good teams within the Chicago land area and within the state, I knew it would be a close race. And this was a tight one. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> In third place, with a score, 72.66 bronze, Kendall College. And in second place, Joliet Junior College. So much for suspense on who won, right? <laughs> College of DuPage. Yeah. They were excited. A um, little giddiness, a uh, couple tears on their end. Um, so it is a very emotional and mental process as well through this journey of, of this competition. So happiness, relief, 
trying to wrap their head around what the next step is, because this is new territory for us. So being that it's our third year um, and moving on, it's gonna be a complete, completely different environment and, and arena that we're gonna compete in. Coming up next, College of DuPage prepares students to pursue or advance a career in a variety of in-demand information technology fields. Information technology is a vital component in today's working environment. Businesses and organizations of all sizes rely on the skills of highly trained IT and networking specialists. College DuPage is at the leading edge of training and education in this important and growing field. The Computer and Internet Working Technologies program at College of DuPage offers a diverse and flexible program with courses leading to an Associate's in Applied Science degree or a number of certificates in concentrated areas. With highly experienced professional faculty and state-of-the-art instructional labs, students learn technology theory while gaining hands-on experience in areas such as networking, information technology, computer forensics, virtualization, security, voice over IP, Microsoft operations, PC repair, and more. In addition, Computer Into Networking Technologies offers a variety of certification training programs through its Cisco Networking Academy and the CompTIA Academy. These training courses offer the latest insight and technical standards for students interested in improving their markability or advancing their careers by specializing in a particular area. The uh, CIT program uh, initially was based off two two different types of uh, certification systems, the Cisco Academy and the CompTIA Academy. A student entering initially, depending upon their interest area, uh, if they're coming in to look at internet working period and looking for the associate's degree possibly, they would start out their first term by taking both a, a CIT CompTIA course and a CIT Cisco class. And so they'd be taking these concurrently. We may have other students who are out in the field and maybe they are working in the internet uh, technology field, working for an IT company. They may be only wanting the Cisco certification. So they'll come in and take the Cisco classes. Somebody else may be involved in computer maintenance repair. They may be taking the CompTIA classes. So you can put them together, do them at the same time, or you can do one or the other. You can select either path. COD does give you a, a great selection on certifications. The COD program actually makes you apply yourself and learn. You can't just, you know, skate by the classes. You're going to have to actually learn and work hard to get it. The program at, in the CIT department for the CompTIA end of it covers uh, A+, Net+, and Security+. Most of the students starting out would probably begin with A+, and then from there, a lot of the students will end up working in industry and get a a job working in the industry and getting you know, real world experience. All of the classes are based on hands-on equipment, they work on real, real world equipment, um, troubleshooting, maintenance, uh, system recovery, things such as that. Real useful skills that they could use in the marketplace every day. And that, that's the main thing we focus on. The degree is made up of uh, many various different uh, certifications. The students can somewhat pick and choose the certificates they want to earn, and as they work towards the certifications, they're also working towards the associate degree. Uh, some students come to us already having a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. They obviously don't need an associate degree, so for them, picking up the certificates is a big issue. It helps them a lot. College of DuPage is one of the largest CompTIA academies in the area. We uh, cover A+, Net+, Security+, uh, Project Plus, and we're looking to add m more as they come along. You know, having those certifications catches the attention of the interviewer or the uh, potential employer. You know, it's definitely um, something that's on their radar, so it needs to be something that's on the uh, radar of the, of the program here, and it is. Computer Forensic class is about uh, digital forensic science pertaining to uh, legal evidence uh, found in computers and uh, 
digital storage media. Um, in that class, uh, we learn change of custody and rules and procedure and how to do uh, search on the digital media. The class is more on hands-on and uh, uh, applications. And we use a tool called Forensic Toolkit. At the end of the class, the uh, students will have the opportunity to take the test and if they pass the test, they will be certified uh, computer forensics. The ability to come into an environment and put your hands to work with the theoretical knowledge that you're learning in a classroom is a valuable asset that I could not put a price tag on. Having the equipment here um, for us to play with and for us to utilize is, uh, is definitely a, one of the bigger pluses. I find that the skill sets developed by the students here at COD are very high and they uh, have a layered you know, credential so that they can go out and get a reasonable job uh, starting off. Take time, do some research, look at the cost structure for uh, this type of information technology training, compare them and visit those institutions. And when they visit COD, what they would find is there are exuberant qualified instructor with industry experience as well as professional experience as uh, prof professors, faculty and adjunct faculty. I think the coolest thing about the program is the instructors. They're all professional, they seem like they, they know exactly what's going on, they're very helpful. Basically, there's no questions they don't know. <laughs> you can ask for much anything and they will answer and they will, if you need uh, any kind of help, they will get it to you, no matter how. The biggest value is the exposure that they get to real world experience and scenarios. When you get out there in the, in the IT world, you already have the hands-on experience. So that's, that was really great about the program. What I think makes this program unique is the layers that it has. Um, it's a program where you have the instructors that come in and that they're there. It's real life, it's interaction, it's somebody explaining something to you. That whole combination, you just don't really find that in a lot of places. Their IT program here is probably the most excellent in the, in the area. The program at COD has helped me as an individual just to help me grow my technological skills. I love what I do and I definitely want to continue and pursue degrees and certifications in networking. For more information about the Computer and Internet Working Technology Program at College DuPage, please visit our page on the web at cod.edu. Career Services at College of DuPage offers a variety of resources for career-minded and job-seeking students, alumni, and community members. They also help local businesses meet staffing needs. Whether interested in entering a specific field, sharpening skills to advance in a career, enhancing your education with an internship, or simply seeking employment for immediate income, College of DuPage can help you meet your goals. Career Services Center at College of DuPage serves students, alumni, and community members and assist them with the job search process. Anything from resume development, interviewing skills, networking, using social media in the job search process. We also offer assistance with students seeking internships. It's important for students to connect with Career Services because we offer such an array of expertise within our office. We have two career specialists who can help you with any piece of the job search process, whether you're just wondering how do I even start searching, you've just been laid off and you're looking for assistance, or you're a student and you don't know where to even begin to find that job, to start networking, to really get them into the process of the job search. An internship at College DuPage is the opportunity for a student to get out in a professional setting and gain practical work experience. What we want them to do is build practical skills, both technical and what we would call soft skills. 
uh, so that they're prepared for the workforce. Essentially what we want to make sure that they're experiencing during the internship is learning. So we want the projects, the practical work, to be the types of things that they would do in a professional work experience after college. And we want them to be able to build skills that are applicable to a variety of settings. I think it's great because uh, people get so much more hands-on experience than they do in a classroom. And once you're actually doing the work, it's a lot more educational. And for me, I feel like it's it gives you a lot better real-world world experience that you're going to be using in the job field itself. We've been working with COD for nine years with interns. Started with one intern in the beginning, and have grown into a nice consistent pattern of a couple of interns each semester. They come on board with us, they work with us, they learn about computers. It's a great opportunity for the students to learn more hands-on how computers work, how they break, and how to fix them. We've got opportunity to go ahead and mentor students and get them out and start on their career path. A lot of students don't know where to start, they don't know how to find an internship, and we really work with them to identify what the resources are at College of DuPage, um, who the staff are to help them in identifying where the internships are, but also how to potentially find and secure their own internship. Service learning is another piece of what we do in the Career Services Center, and our Assistant Manager of Career Services helps students to gain experience in the community through some local community service work connected to their course. So students will participate in local volunteer opportunities and connect that volunteer experience back to the coursework that they're doing. So the best way for students to connect with the Career Services Center, there's a couple of ways. They can look at our website at www.cod.edu forward slash career services. On our website, we have an electronic job board where we have thousands of job postings. Another resource that's available on our website is a link to our Pinterest page where we have a number of visual resources available to students. Things such as what you should wear to an interview, additional sample resume documents, additional supporting documents from many of our workshops, such as getting on LinkedIn, interviewing skills, those types of things. Another resource we have is through our library. There's a number of resources there that can help students research an industry, research a particular position, research salaries for any geographic area in the country that they're looking for. It's important for students to connect with the Career Service Center early in their time at College of DuPage because we want to be involved with them throughout their process. Whether it's graduating with a major and transferring to a four-year school, or whether it's coming here, getting a certificate, and jumping right back into the workforce. We want to help them with that, and Career Services can assist students throughout that process. Stay tuned for an example of how College of DuPage's Career Services helps connect employment-seeking students, community members, and the general public with career opportunities when Images visits the annual career fair. So today we have the third annual College of DuPage Career Fair. We've got over 100 employers here with jobs who are hiring and looking forward to hopefully filling a lot of open positions. Um, if you also want to fill out your information right here. There is exactly that. It's going to be education. And we're growing like crazy. So um, it really depends on what you're interested in. This event today, the College of DuPage Career Fair, is open to students, current students, alumni, as well as our District 502 community residents. And they've been flooding in the doors today, and uh, so there's a lot of people out there still looking for jobs, and the employers are hiring. That's why they're here. We are looking for people that just pretty much love food and uh, love the whole aspect of working in a restaurant. I'm Marissa, and I'm from School of Rock, and today we are looking for some great energetic teachers that are great with kids, that have a lot of really great musical experience. We've had a lot of people in law enforcement start seasonal and then come as full-time with us or go in other areas, a naturalist, a biologist, grounds crew, anything like that. Uh, my name is Mark Katz. I'm a professional engineer at HBK Engineering. Uh, we're here today at the COD Career Fair looking specifically for designers, drafters, uh, people with AutoCAD experience, um, and again, just energetic people that like to work. 
Uh, I came here today to look at jobs in the healthcare field. Elmhurst Hospital is here today, so I'm interested in trying to apply for them for the day. I did do a career drop-in workshop for my resume. They did go over my resume and help me with a cover letter. I prepared today by going into um, a two-minute workshop that was held like a couple days ago. So that helped me prepare myself to you know, give my, spe my speech within a two-minute time frame. And then the night before, I, of course, I got my resume printed out and all the important stuff gathered together and my thoughts together as well. So for the last two weeks, we have been helping job seekers get prepared for this event today. We've had a number of workshops, everything from help get your resume ready to LinkedIn workshops, teaching them how to get on LinkedIn. Something we called new we did this year, a workshop called Wild Them in Two Minutes, which was where job seekers came. We taught them how to write and develop an elevator pitch. They had an opportunity to practice that elevator pitch in a mock career fair with actual employers. So if we had any job seekers who weren't able to make it today to the career fair, we have a number of ways that we can help them throughout the year. It's not just a one-time event. In the career services office, they can come in and make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with one of our career specialists. They can help them with the resume. They can help them with interviewing skills. We can help them with their job search in any step where they are in the process. We also have a number of workshops that we offer throughout the year on LinkedIn 101, LinkedIn Advanced, uh, resume. A lot of people have questions, a lot of students, a lot of people who haven't even had to do a resume in maybe 10, 15 years, just got laid off or they're a career changer, wanting to know what's the first step. Our staff can sit down with them or they can come to a workshop where we will talk about how to develop a resume, what are some of the new ways, the things you need to have on those resumes for success. So we also have an electronic job board where employers who are here today and employers who aren't here who are working with us continually throughout the year list open positions on our electronic job board and that's called College Central Network. So you can go to our website at cod.edu forward slash career services and find a link to that electronic job board where you can search open positions any time of day. It's free to sign up and register and search those jobs and internships online. That's all the time we have for this edition of Images. We hope you enjoyed this program from College of DuPage. Also, you can watch past episodes of Images on demand by visiting our website at cod.edu. I'm Rio Almaria. See you next time. <laughs>